Hi, welcome back to the shop. So today for, I have a short video on these two Humvees. Uh, these are M1165 uh, AM General Humvees. These were both uh, used by the Marine Corps and uh, they were sold through Gov Planet. The, uh, my customer who bought these, um, he, he originally got a hold of me. He wanted me to pick them up, bring them back to the shop and just get them running. They were both marked as, as non-runners and I'll go over that in just a few minutes why they were uh, non-runners. Uh, but you know to transport these things cross country it costs a lot more to ship them if they're not running so um if i'm able, able to get them running for them which i did um it's going to save him some money so these are actually both for sale um if anybody's interested send me a message i'll relay it to the owner uh, but anyways i want to go over something real quick on these um what to expect when you're buying these from guff planet um i'll go over some stuff that was missing on these in just a second but um one thing that i've kind of been made aware of is that over at uh they have a, a whole lot full of Humvees that are on their way out that have already been taken out of service and they're going to be going to auction at Gulf Planet. And they're kind of in a pick apart lot. Um, so basically, uh, when the guys in the maintenance need to, need a part off one, they just go over there in the morning, they go over there and get the part they need. And these things get kind of scavenged a little bit before they end up shipping off to the uh, auction. Um, it sounds kind of crappy to me. I think the military, if you're going to sell them, just sell them. Don't, don't take crap off them before you... Uh, um, you know, go ahead and put them up for sale. But it's buyer beware, it's an auction. Um, you know, with, with Gov Planet, you don't get to go look at the vehicle, but they put a lot of pictures. Um, they'll put they'll put 75 pictures somewhere in that range um, on any given vehicle that they have in the auction. So look at those pictures, look at them carefully. Um, let me walk around this one first. All right, so this one here, um, it was missing a starter. In fact, they even put notes on the windshield right here. Non-runner, uh, no starter uh no belt and no oil cap so i co contacted the owner he sent me all the stuff i needed he actually had the parts so we, we cleaned up the uh, oil intake we put a new cap on that we put a new belt on it was missing a belt idler we put that on uh we put the starter on and then um some other things you could see um they they when they demill them like these aren't up armored if they were up armored ones it would have all the bolt holes in here from the armor uh, cladding that they bolted on these weren't obviously because they're soft tops uh, but like they take out the water fording for some reason. So instead of just taking the cable off, they bash the, the dash up so you can't put a new cable in, um, or so they think. There's also a breather on the engine. It's up on the passenger side, up on the top, uh, kind of near the aft part of the engine. And they take the breather off and they cut a slit in it so you can't use it. And that's part of the uh, D-mill process for um, the water fording. Uh, as you can tell, it has a water fording exhaust. Uh, the water fording stack. They leave all that stuff on, but they take the cable off um, to be able to transition it over to water fording. And they also ruin the breather, so you can't, they think you can't go in the water with this thing. Um, this one's missing the headlights. Um, it's missing some of the tie down rings or brackets that go on the wheels uh, for when they're tied down on the, on, the Navy, on the Navy vessel or on an aircraft. Uh, the top of this one's in pretty good shape. Um, it's a little, little weathered, a little used, but it's in really good shape. Just kind of walk around. This one has tail lights. Uh, when they took the radios out, someone just cut the bolts right off, took the bracket off. I don't know why they they didn't leave the bracket on because they left the brackets in the truck. In fact, here's a here are the antenna brackets right here. This one's been jacked up a little bit, and this one is in pretty good shape still. Same with this one; they cut it off. That's easily replaceable. That's not a big deal. Tail lights aren't a big deal. You can get those. Headlights, not too big of a deal. They're kind of expensive, but you can get those. Yeah, let's walk over to the other truck. So this truck here was missing the engine computer or the glow, whatever they call the glow plug controller on it. Uh, it's missing the headlight switch, which you, know, you can find those. They're not real cheap, but you can find them. Same thing with the water fording. They took broke the cable, you know, broke the took the cable off and bashed up the hole in there. Um, they cut the cut a slot in the uh, breather for the uh that goes on top of the engine it's kind of the crankcase breather um someone took the headlights come back around uh, the top on this one is actually in really poor shape you can see this top's actually kind of pretty much trash it's not going to be repairable um come around it's missing the tail lights or it's missing i don't know what they did to the tail lights they took the I guess just the covers off the back i haven't even checked to see if they work or not um, we're not doing a full restoration on these we're just getting these running so we can ship them out you, you can see on the windshield this one here it says non-runner ecu missing um, so the owner he uh, sent out the ecu we put that in um, it all starts up and runs really good 
Uh, one other thing on this one, it was missing one of the hard lines on the for the brake system uh, that goes to the brake proportion valve. So when it, when we went to unload these off the trailer, they loaded them with the forklift. When we went to unload them with the off the trailer, uh, I went to hit the brakes and the pedal just kind of mushed to the floor and I had brake fluid all over the trailer. So I was able to you know figure out what line we needed, put a line on that. We bled the brake system out and got those working. All right, so it's just a quick video um, just on what to be aware of when you're buying a, a military vehicle from Gov Planet. I'm not trying to make a, like a negative video or or getting down on them, you know, for what they're doing, picking the parts off them, whatever they're, you know, for whatever reason. But, you know, do your homework and check out the vehicle really good before you buy it. Because I know people that have gone to Gov Planet expecting to just drive the vehicle home. Some have made it and some haven't. Um, for instance, this one here, it would not drive. Um, well, first off, it didn't have the ECU, but it, it didn't have brakes either. Uh, this one didn't have a starter, so this one wasn't going to start. But if it says it starts and runs, um, still look it over really good, and uh, that'll better your chances of having one you can drive home if it does say starts and runs. But definitely, if it says it, it doesn't, trust me, it doesn't. Right there, ECU missing, starter missing. You know, take your time. Look at the pictures. Look at them really in detail. Get them on your computer. You know, zoom in on them, blow them up look at them make sure that you're buying what you expect because you, the last thing you want to do is buy something that and you're in over your head and you don't want to put that much money into it or it, you can't do the work yourself you can't afford to pay someone to do the work for you so get someone that knows the vehicles uh that knows military vehicles have them look it over for you if you need that help and just to make sure that you understand what you're buying so you don't buy something that's just going to sit behind the barn forever um or something you're just gonna have to try to sell later and lose money on uh, but anyways uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, I've got over 70 videos, a lot of them on military vehicles, a lot of them on, uh, on heavy equipment that I own and work on. And um, I've got some cool stuff coming. I saw that, that M3 half track coming. Going to do some work on that. And uh, I've got a couple of, I guess they call them the square body, the K5 uh, Blazers, the military ones. I've got, I think, three of those coming in to work on. So um, stay tuned and thanks for watching.